Hello. In a video I did recently, I posted a review of a strategy I found online called Tim's Moving Average Cross. And in that review, I showed results of backtesting that I'd done. We've had some requests on the Orchard Forex website to ask if I did that backtesting using an EA and if the EA is available for download. Well, the answers are yes, I did write a custom EA to do the backtesting, but no, unfortunately, it's not available for download. The EA was specifically written for the backtest and it doesn't include some of the logic that I would typically include for a client where it would handle MetaTrader restarting or brokers clean up periods each day when trading can't happen. So it's not really suitable for anyone to use in the real world. And I'm not going to enhance it any further because the purpose of the EA was only to do the backtesting. But something I didn't show in the earlier video was a custom indicator that I created that I used to get a better visualization of how the strategy was working and I can make that indicator available for download. So in this video, I'm going to show you how that indicator works and you can download it from the link in the description below. Just before we go to the screen to show you the indicator, let me remind you again, this is a strategy that I found online and I've included a link in the description to the original strategy. And I recommend that you go and see the trading strategy guides video on that strategy. Okay, here on the screen, I've got the indicator already loaded. Uh, there's a lot going on here, but I'll explain it and it will make sense. Now, everything is done just by the one indicator. There are no extra lines here. In fact, I'll just remove the indicator quickly to show you that. All right, everything's gone. So let's put it back again. And now let's go through the settings for the indicator and how they relate back to the strategy. So first, the strategy calls for a 100 period SMA as the baseline. So here in the inputs, 100 period baseline method simple. And on this chart, we can see the simple moving average down here. The next thing is for the 20 period exponential moving average to show the direction of the trend. So 20 periods exponential. And here we see the exponential moving average on the chart. Then the strategy uses a 14 period ATR. So I've set 14 periods and it uses that because if the price moves past the EMA by more than one ATR, then you should not take a trade. Typically an ATR displays in a separate window. Um, in a single indicator, I can't do that, but I have added the multiplier factor in here and the ATR shows on screen as these lines surrounding the EMA. So it shows up as a channel, which also makes it much easier to see if a bar crosses the EMA and touches the ATR at the same time. The strategy also uses an average volume. So it calculates the average of the last 20 bars volume. And then if the volume on the current bar is 100% or more of that average, then it will trade a full lot size. If the current bar volume is between 75 and 100% of the average, it will trade half a lot size and below 75%, it doesn't trade at all. So because I can't show the volume percentage calculation on screen in any meaningful way, I've implemented that by showing the trade lines as a dotted line for a half size trade and a solid line for a full size trade. And of course, if the volume is below 75%, there is no trade, so there is no line. Finally, the strategy calls for a stop loss at 1.5 times ATR and a take profit at 1 times ATR above the entry point. The entry point is the close point of the trigger bar. So what we can see here, I'll just cancel this so that we can use an indicator on screen. Uh, what we see here is an entry bar that crossed the EMA. This would be the entry point then at the top of that bar and one ATR above is the take profit point. And then this line is drawn at 1.5 times the ATR below that entry point. Uh, the take profit and stop loss calculations are the same for half lot size. It's just that the lines are drawn as dotted lines. Now you can see also on here that some of these lines are longer than others. Uh, the lines 
don't close when the trade would have closed. So for this trade, for example, we entered here and it would have closed crossing the take profit point there. But because this is an indicator and not an expert advisor, it doesn't take account of when trades would have closed. And these lines simply continue until the next indicator point. So this line here continues until this bar where we get a new signal. The one exception to that is the latest signal and the lines on that will continue to the edge of the chart. So that's the indicator. It is available for downloaded from the Orchard Forex website. There are versions for both MT4 and MT5 and there is a link to the download in the description below the video. Uh, if you found this useful, please leave a like. And if you want to see more of videos from us, then remember to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified when more videos are uploaded. Once again, thank you for watching.